to seek not to surpass others in seeking profit. In matters of grace and benefit, do not place yourself ahead of others. In virtuous deeds and business, do not fall behind others. When enjoying rewards, do not exceed your due. In refining and practicing self-discipline, do not fall short. Trust is the most powerful weapon to move people. And in matters related to it, people gather like bees. Even a small act, like pulling out a single hair, can benefit the world, yet not doing. So means being solely engrossed in one's own gain, neglecting others. Tolstoy said that any activity not based on personal gain has a weak foundation. Furthermore, this is regarded as a universal philosophical truth. To place one's own profit behind others means having already accumulated considerable wealth. Have the vision to see hidden dangers before seeking profit. Retreating is the basis of advancing in the path of living through the world. Yielding a step is seen as noble and retreating forms the foundation for advancing. Being somewhat generous in dealing with others brings fortune and benefiting others is the foundation for benefiting oneself. Choose a place better than a mere suitable spot for yourself. It is better to hear ascend than to hear descend. God lowers those who exalt themselves and raises those who humble themselves. This is a teaching from the Talmud. Few understand that retreating a step is advancing a step. Few understand that benefiting others is benefiting oneself. Those who lack humility are always busy criticizing others and revealing their flaws. Increasing their own sins, ultimately imprisoning themselves in guilt. Bending the seven to stretch. The carriage means yielding in small matters to gain in larger ones. People cannot coexist in society without mutual concessions. Do not monopolize honor and virtue. Share a little with others to keep harm away and preserve yourself. Do not shift shameful actions or disgrace onto others. Rather, accept some as your own and cultivate true light and virtue. During the Imjin War, General Yai Sun Sin joined forces with Ming Navy Commander Chen Lin to fight the Japanese Navy in the South Sea. Each time they won, General Ye shared, captured Japanese heads with Chen Lin's camp. This was to allow Chen Lin to gain merit, resulting in a great victory for both armies. Share your honor. The fragments of honor you share will bloom and return to you. Conversely, no one wants to claim shameful acts or dishonorable events, even if they originate from one's own faults. People are quick to shift them to others, 
accept some of others' disgrace as your own, and true virtue will flourish within you. The success follows failure. Calamities grow within blessings. When satisfied, quickly turn your head and observe your surroundings. The success follows failure. Therefore, do not hastily give up because things are not going as planned. Trees in high places endure more wind than those in low places. When one's position rises due to the favor of superiors, envy and jealousy from those around are inevitable, which may bring misfortune. By observing oneself and considering others in advance, all calamities can be avoided. Like the saying, failure is the mother of success. The English proverb, we learn to walk safely by stumbling, also offers much to ponder. One who has never experienced failure has never tried anything. Do not give up easily. Persistent effort will bring results. Even a skilled archer sometimes misses. Yield to others on narrow cliff paths. To stop for a step and let others pass first. Share delicious food in three portions to enjoy it together. This is one way to live a joyful life. Two goats met on a narrow bridge. What should they do? Goats cannot retreat. And the bridge is too narrow to pass by each other. They have no choice but to collide, causing both to fall into the river. What should they do? Nature taught the goats that one should kneel and allow the other to jump over it. This way, both can cross safely. Humans too should avoid disputes and allow others to pass over them. It's similar to the goats. Martin Luther left a saying at the dinner table. Those who think of others before themselves are already fulfilling their role in nature. Be cautious in choosing friends. Raising a child is like raising a virgin strictness in coming and going. And utmost caution in friendships are necessary. Once befriended a bad friend, it is like planting weeds in a clean field, making it difficult to grow good crops for life. To know someone, ask who their friends are, says a Turkish proverb. A life without friends is like a life without the Satan. Having no friends is akin to having a body forever missing a part. From birth, people reject walking alone. An infant stays with the mother, a toddler with peers. As the ego forms, closer friendships develop. Unhealthy friendships greatly affect life. Hence the ancient advice to be cautious in friendships. Confucius said there are three types of friends. Those who love you, those who forget you, and those who hate you. Which friend are you? Enjoy hearing unpleasant words. 
always listen to unpleasant words and hold uncomfortable thoughts in your heart, as they serve as a grindstone for virtue and conduct. If every word pleases your ears and every matter pleases your heart, it is like burying your body in poison. Just as bitter medicine stings a wound, genuine advice from the heart must be accepted gently and warmly. Otherwise, it can lead to unhappiness. We must have ears and hearts willing to accept all advice generously. This is the shortcut to refining oneself. Keep your ears open. No matter how unpleasant the words, listen to them fully. If they are directed at you, open your heart. No matter how much it hurts, accept it deeply. Even if not a sage, storing a true friend's advice deeply will eventually sprout new growth. Always no shame. When the night is deep and silent, looking into your heart, the vanity disappears leaving only the truth. Always find great joy in it. However, if you still find it difficult to escape the vanity despite the truth's appearance, feel great shame in it. If you maintain a pure, clear and innocent heart, it will shine brighter than ten pearl necklaces and bring great happiness. Even if you are in an unfortunate situation now, if your heart is true, you still hold commendable happiness. Only from a sincere heart can powerful wisdom to navigate life emerge. No matter how high your position or how vast your knowledge, nothing will stick to you. If you lose human truth, truth always stands before us in unchanging form with unchanging clothes. The truth encountered in the darkest night and deepest silence is truly beautiful. Similarly, how cruel and shameful is the vanity encountered in darkness and silence. Always bear great ambitions. Even in high positions, never forget the charm of being rooted in life. Even if immersed in life, Always harbor ambitions for the court. Living as a person is truly beautiful, but many forget this ability quickly. One cannot help but be astonished at how a person's poor past is discarded with success. It is like replacing all the old life tools used in poverty with new ones upon success. A person's poor past is their mirror and hometown. A person who easily discards such a valuable mirror and hometown has no guaranteed future. Likewise, even if poor and unsuccessful. Now, always refine your inner ambition when stepping on the path of success. Ambition makes a person human. Whether one can live humanly depends on having ambition. 
people cannot fail to succeed if they hold infinite passion, firm will, and unchanging ambition. Where there is a will, there is a way. Success is indeed remarkable. It hides all ugliness at once. Always leave room for everything. By leaving room and unfinished intentions, God will not let me rest and spirits will not harm me. Seeking complete satisfaction and perfect merit in all things invites troubles from within or concerns from without. The old saying, too much is as bad as too little, holds true. When everything is full to the brim, it starts to tilt. True satisfaction arises from true desires. A poor man married a princess. He tried to satisfy her with all luxuries and pleasures, but to no avail. The princess found his actions annoying and bothersome. The more satisfied she became, the more she felt lacking. In everything, leave a little behind. Leave some spaces. Remember the words of Scaramara abundance is not necessarily good. Excessive abundance does not increase joy. The lack of space is the wellspring of joy. Do not harshly criticize others' faults. When reproaching others, consider whether they can bear the words. When teaching others, do not be overly lofty, but make it easy for them to follow.